As the Jews moved through the desert, led by Moses, they suffered many hardships. One of them was a terrible disease called leprosy. Excuse me. Are you the are you a doctor? What is a doctor? Someone who charges a lot of money to tell you what you usually already know. I guess I could do that. Wait, what's that? Wait, what's that white swelling on your skin? Why are you asking me? You're the doctor. Huh. That does not look very good. Do you think it's contagious? I doubt it. On the other hand, I could be wrong. Ow, I'm swelling all over. Oh, me too. Three. I'm losing my hair. We all are. I need a doctor, and I don't need, and I don't even know what that is. Of course, Moses was alarmed by this terrible problem. This is very alarming. What can we do? It seems that God wants Aaron and the priests to check and see which of you has leprosy. Those who do must be separated from everyone else. Aaron, please start checking. Moses, how come you get to talk to God and I always do the dirty work? Okay, guys, line up to see the doctor. Doctor. I don't, where are we? I don't We're see the any. Bottom of, one, bottom of page 170. I'll see you at one at a time in my office. Oh, I'll see. I will see you one at a time in my office. I hope you all have an appointment. And remember, I only accept Mount the Mount Sinai H HMO plan. I can't believe how long we have to wait. What they need here are some magazines and toys. Do you really think we'll have to? Go to Go to live somewhere else if we're sick. Moses said so. I don't care what Moses says. I'm not going. I'd listen to the words of God if I were you. And what if we don't? Didn't you hear what last week when they didn't listen? No, tell me. And so it is time for a flashback. In last week's portion, Aaron's sons were told to wait while Aaron went off with Moses. But hey, glad to hear you all are doing well. Sons, Uncle Moses and I are going now to bless the people. All right. What are we supposed to do while you're gone? Whatever you want. Except you must not go into the Holy of Holies. No one goes in there without God's permission. But what if we do? What will happen to us? You will die. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> Moses and Aaron were gone a very, very, very long time. I'm bored. Um, uh, I just lost. Number one? Yeah, here, it's just, okay. Yeah, me too. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do, hey, I know. Let's go into the Holy of Holies. We can. You heard what Uncle Moses says. We'll die. Dirty cat, I dare you to go in there. Back, 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 chicken. I'll go if you go. Deal. Last one there is a rotten egg. Fried egg was more like it. The suns were killed by a strange fire from the heavens. 
Did that really happen? Have you seen Aaron Sons lately? And so it went. The lepers went off to live by themselves in the first quarantine. The plague did not spread to the rest of the Israelites because they had been in quarantine. As for the ones who were not lepers, they were fine until they saw the bill. <laughs> So who am I in this one? So in this one, it's just the uh, just the seventh graders. Who who, is, who asked me? Willow. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Willow. You are um, you are Eliezer. And I can okay. be Aaron. Okay. And what about me? I'll be Moses. No, Cantor's Moses. Oh. Unless, Cantor, you want to have Joel be Moses? Joel can be Moses. And we All need right. a bell. What about me? I have, um... Because Shireen is Bill, and she's not here. You want to be Bill? Sure. All right, so it looks like, so Max and I will be sitting this one out. Oh, and Cantor, <laughs> sorry. Cantor, who, someone who's taking Moses? Joel? I, I'm, I'm taking Moses. Okay, so Cantor, so Cantor, uh, Max and I will sit this one out. We'll be listening though. Hold on. I'm so not it's, ready. It's coming up. I'm Hold not on. ready yet. And we're still on record apparently. Oh. Joel yeah. is not ready. Wait. So Rabbi, while we're waiting, do you want to uh, give us a little lesson on leprosy? That's great. It's basically like coronavirus, right? So leprosy might have been a little like corona, but it was more like all flaky skin ickiness. It what was is it called? And gross and people could see it. Um, what is it also called? Really, but unlike today where what? no one assumes that if, if you were sick, it's your fault. With <sighs> these biblical diseases, the assumption was you messed up. And leprosy was seen as a punishment for doing something wrong. So the rabbis actually note that, um, you know, this next parsha is called Mitzorah, which is one of the words for the leprosy. And they note that it's, if you separate it out, it sounds like Motsi Shem Ra, which means evil speech. So they, they note and they make a connection to Miriam because elsewhere in the Torah, actually later in the, we read of the story of Miriam, and Miriam had said some not so nice things about Moses' wife. And in re after she said some not very nice things, she then got this white scaly rash that looked like Mitzora, and the rabbi saw the connection between that rash and her saying nasty things and saw that it was if you said nasty things then nasty things would happen to you now nowadays i think we see the world a little bit differently and i don't think that um aaron's dad is questioning anybody about their behavior before helping them get better um normally we assume today that uh sometimes you know with that whole germ theory thing there are viruses and bacteria that cause our diseases but there are still, I think, spiritual diseases. That I think that when we put into the world, when we're nasty and we're mean to other people, that it may not be viruses and the bacteria that come back to us, but I think there are other consequences to the things that we say. So when we're trying to act like good and decent people and bringing love and kindness into the world, I think that love and kindness also comes back to us. So even if we don't quite take the lesson of this week's Parsha 100% literally, I think we can still learn a lesson of how do we treat other people. And the Horrible. example of Miriam. Well, from what I heard, I feel, I feel like basically what this Parsha is basically stating is karma. So there's, yeah, there's a little bit of Jewish karma here. In, in Hebrew, we call that mida keneged mida. Um, that mida is like a quality, a good a, a, an action, and then and action leads to other actions. So that we say elsewhere, you know, a um, mitzvah gorer mitzvah, doing the mitzvah leads us to doing more mitzvahs, and avera gorer avera, doing 
sins leads us to other sins. Willow is now on a leaf. And Joel, are you are you good to go? Or yeah, excuse good. me, Moses. Is everybody ready? I'm good. All right. Okie dokie. So this is sort of a continuation of the last story. And the scene is that Aaron enters with Itamar and Eliezer. Hey, Itamar, Eliezer, it's time for your lesson with Uncle Moisha. Can't we skip priest class today, Dad? Who can study? It's so hot out. We're in the desert. It's always hot out. Otherwise known as Florida. But we always learn about the same things. The tabernacle, sacrifices, leprosy. I don't like talking about leprosy. Me either. It makes me itch just to think about it. Don't worry. Uncle Moisha said today's lesson was going to be different. Hello, everyone. Today's lesson will be about cleansing a leper. Cleansing a leopard? That sounds dangerous. What if he attacks us? And leopards have such big teeth and they growl so loud. I said leper, not leopard. A leper, someone with leprosy. Don't sound too happy about it. I'd rather cleanse a leopard. At least they're not contagious. Calm down, you two. We'll only have to work with lepers whose sickness ha has been healed. It will be your job to perform the holy ritual to make sure they are clean and pure. Why do I get the feeling this is going to involve the tabernacle and sacrifices? Could you show some respect for your Uncle Moisha? Act with Mar is right. Cleansing a leper is complicated. And so for this lesson, I've asked for some help. Here he comes now. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Ithamar, a priest. Hi, I'm Joe, a leper. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Don't worry. Joe says his leprosy has healed. How can we be sure? We can't be. He needs to be checked out first. Who handles the checking? You do. Uh, well, that's not a problem, Moisha. How do we purify Joe? It's simple. Take two live clean birds, some high saw plant, a little cedar wood, and a piece of wool dipped in scarlet. Then you kill one of the birds. I wouldn't want to be that bird. Then you dip the live bird and all the other stuff into the blood of the dead bird. I think I'd rather be the dead one. <laughs> then you'd sprinkle the mixture on the leper. You know, maybe I'm not all better after all. I'll just go back to the leper camp, leper colony. Take it easy, the hard part is over. Oh, what comes next? You shave your hair. <laughs> That's not so bad. The bald look is in. You shave all your hair, your whole body. Then you take a long hot bath and you are pure and clean. Does that mean I can go home to my family? Not yet. You will still have to wait seven days before you come into the camp. Then on the eighth day, the priests must take male and female lambs, some flour and some oil. I told you it would involve sacrifices. Let me guess. We put some blood on Joe's earlobe, big toe, and thumb, right? Very good, Eliezer. What's so good about it? I don't want to be sprinkled with blood. Would you rather have leprosy? Where would you like to start sprinkling, the ear or the toe? After that, you sprinkle some oil on Joe, then you make atonement for the sins of the leper. What sins? They say leprosy is sometimes a punishment for saying bad things about someone else. Sometimes. Who said that? That person doesn't know what they're talking about. It's probably a hang, the guy who hangs out behind the donkey corner. Joe? You're doing it again. 
Oops, sorry. Moses, what happens if the leper is poor and can't afford all that stuff for the cleaning process? No problem. We have a low cost sacrifice. The leper only needs a goat, a little bit of flour, a pigeon, and a turtle dove. What a bargain. Thanks a lot, guys. Hi, customer. Are we done yet, Uncle Moses? No, we still have to talk about what happens when clothing or houses have leprosy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Uncle M Moses, you still have that great sense of humor. <laughs> houses with leprosy? That's funny. <laughs> I'm serious. Sometimes the house gets a fungus or is infested with insects. Why do you think... Who do you think has structures and make sure they are clean? Terminix? No, it is your job. Uh, Moses? We're holy men. Jewish holy men. We don't know anything about construction. Then I've hired a contractor to help you. Phil. Hey, Moses. I got the end. I got the estimate on that leprosy removal you asked about. Phil, what are we working for? My brother Aaron and his sons Ithamar and Eliezer. They're the priestly leaders of our nation. That's great, but uh, I still can't fit it into my schedule until after Sukkot. We don't need you to build anything. We just need you to explain how one goes about removing leprosy from a house. It's okay. First, check out the wall. See if they have red and green streaks on them. Shut the house down for seven days and come back and see if the plague is spread into the stone. Then scrape off all the unclean stones and the mortar and then replace them with new mortar and new stones. You following me? I lost you after pizza cake. <clears throat> Take this book. It's all in here. Everything you everything you ever wanted to know about cleansing a leper's house is closed. If it can, if it concerns lepers, it's in this book. Under Parshat Met Metazora. Happy reading. A book about lepers. I'm not reading it. Who wrote it? Who do you think? I could look probably it me. Over. I could look it over. I'm sure it's excellent. Well, Moses, I guess you must have covered every law imaginable by now. Guess again, Aaron. We're only halfway through Vayikra now, which means we are... Uh, I'm really itching to get on with the next half. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's funny. Good one, Aaron. Ha 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 ha.